Hi, it's me, Alan again. I have a new video for you guys. Today I'm going to teach you how to get your own custom boot screen. I know there's other videos out there, but I think this is the best way to do it because the other ways don't work. Yeah, I'm sorry about my picture, but... <laughs> Let me fix it up right there. Hope you guys like it. Okay, so let me teach you how to do this. Okay, to do this one, make sure you have your palm pre connected to the USB drive onto your computer. And you're going to be at this website right here. Um, web, uh, patch WebOS boot, boot theme and it's WebOS internal. So I'm going to have this website on the side of the on the description. Okay, so when you make it here, make sure you open your putty. And put your little your info from your for your Wi-Fi for your pre. Let me see, kind of forgot the little period right here. Okay, open. Let me fix this up for you guys. Up right there, you can see it. Okay, put your username you have for it, your password, and S U D O S U and the little takeaway sign and then hit enter and now when it has usually it asks for the password again but if it doesn't if it just go directly to boot to root castle it's perfectly fine okay now what you want to do is to, again make sure connect the TSB you want to get this first part right here this is gonna put it so you can customize your boot theme from your pre like with the USB so open it right click in there now because you right clicked it it set it up it ran out on your images so what you want to do now close it and I'm going to use on your pre and connect it to USB drive now okay let's just wait for it to pop up all right okay now that it's up um, it opened and it made a new fire file called boot logo. Open that up. Let me close these because I don't really need them. And I'm not sure why I have so many. It's probably because I did it again. Okay, it's gonna open it up and it's gonna have your normal. Uh, it's gonna have your normal palm logo. It's gonna have the palm logo dot png and it's gonna have palm logo bright and make sure it says that on both of them. It doesn't have to have the png, but make sure the a picture you're putting in is a PNG file and all you have to do to edit it um, right click it put open with paint and then drop whatever picture you want like so you copy your picture and then just paste it on once you paste it just click file and save do the same thing for your bright just um, right click it open it um, and copy a new photo and just save it onto the same file and just keep it like that and once you're done with that just close it let's pop off my pre off my USB eject okay and now what you do after it's out of USB open your putty again 182.168 Point one point one uh, four two 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 enter. Okay, let me fix this for you guys again. And now type in your username that you have set up for your putty, your password, and then S U D O S U and the little takeaway sign again. Enter. Okay. And now normally what people have you do let me see. Let me zoom in. <laughs> Just got an email. Okay, now what? Now that you first put this one in, now what you want to do is copy this one, but don't right click it into your putty yet. Open a notepad just like this and paste it on because we're not going to paste the whole thing. Usually it doesn't work. So, what you're going to do is this whole part right here, the first part, the, fir the second line, and the third line. These right here that end with um, org, um, delete those. 
just like I did right here. So you just want to have the, the ones that end with PNG and right here, um, bright.png. Once you have that, copy this. And this is what you're going to want to paste onto your putty. Paste it. Right click and right click. Okay. And now what you're going to do, just get this last part right here. I don't know. Um, kind of lost it. Okay. <laughs> you want to get this part right here. Just copy it. And then just, let me see. Let me get my pre. All you want to do is just paste, right click, and hit enter. See right here. Oh, hold on. Didn't paste it good. Let me get it again. Copy and paste. Right there. And right when you do that, it's going to go directly to your boot logo. Hope you guys like doing this. This is... I'm having a blast. I change my boot logo every, like, three days. And this one I made yesterday. And after you have your boot logo, let me show you something right now. After you have a boot logo, let me close the putty down. All you want to do, you don't want to do all the steps again. All you have to do is just go on your pre and the USB, change the photo, and all you want to do is just paste this. But without the, the thing I told you to erase, just paste it with this again. And just put this. You don't have to do the first step. Just change it, paste um, this part of it, and paste this. And you're done. You can have your boot logo however you want, any single time. Every, like, you can change it every day if you want to. Okay, thank you. Hope you guys liked it. Take care.